Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your own boot screen, how to modify it. Alright, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue showing how to change the boot files. Alright, there is the website that I'm at. I'll put that up in the description as always. I already have Putty open. I already have it set to the root folder. And once again, it's just a matter of copy and pasting. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And once again with Putty, when you right click it automatically pastes. Alright, now I have it saved to the USB drive on the Palm. Gonna open up the computer. Disconnect in that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the USB drive on the Pre. Okay, sent to USB drive. Alright, it is now on the USB drive. Open files. Gonna go to boot logo. Now you can see, that's what we have saved here. Now you can change it to whatever you want. Just gotta make sure it's the same dimensions. I'm not quite sure what the dimensions are. But what I did, is you can just take it, clear it out, and uh, just edit the same file. There's uh, some files that already come with it. If you look on the page, there's the default one right there. And you just gotta make sure it has the same names the Palm logo PNG and then the Palm logo, I believe it's bright, bright.png. Uh, just gotta make sure it has the same names. Okay, then once you have the new pictures uploaded, the new, uh, yeah, the new pictures. Go ahead and close that out. Go ahead and get. Okay, once you have the pictures done, go ahead and disconnect your pre. I just disconnected it. Okay, there's back to that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and open up Putty again. This is that Putty file, just like we did before. Putting the same information in as that we used to root the pre, whatever username and password. This just happens to be my IP address. Okay, put in the username, password, clicking out the sudo file, sudo, ba bam. Okay, and this go, brings it back to the root, so it's the root password, and the password is just root. Okay, now you go back to boot themes, and you just follow the steps like normal. Okay, this is going to mount it, and then unmount it. So copy. Go back to your putty. Right click. It automatically does it. And then you reboot. Just type in reboot. Then once you do that, your pre will reboot once you press enter. Oops. There we go. Now it reboots. And that's what you got to do.